Every year, an estimate of 2.1 billion birds make a difficult journey from Europe to Africa. Between these two continents, the birds follow three major migration routes. One of these routes is the Eastern Mediterranean Path, which crosses over Lebanon. During these flights, the birds use stopover sites to feed, drink, and rest. Put your seatbelts on. We are going to embark on a long journey with one bird species, the European turtle dove. We selected this bird because its numbers have declined dramatically by 93% in the past 25 years, and today, this species is classified as threatened. Let your imagination run for the coming few minutes. We are going to take you on the longest migration route of the European turtle doves between Africa and Europe. Turtle doves migrate largely at night to avoid the heat of the sun and predators. For the purpose of this documentary, we will show you their path during the day. Between November and March, the turtle doves escape the frost of winter in Europe by spending it in Africa. The total population that passes the eastern route is around 2 million birds. And this is where our journey starts. In March, the turtle doves prepare themselves to leave Africa and head back to Europe by ingesting large amounts of food. From South Africa, we fly with doves to Zambia. The birds travel at a speed of 88 kilometers per hour. It will take us three days to cover a distance of 2,400 kilometers, a trip equivalent to Beirut, Rome distance. As we arrive to Zambia, the farm fields are a good place for a first break. The turtle doves feed mainly on cereal and seeds, but many of them die in agricultural fields because of increased use of herbicides and pesticides. From Zambia, we fly to the next nearest large green space on the migratory path, the jungles of Congo. The doves fly over the jungle flapping their wings and taking short glides. The journey becomes more difficult as we fly over Khartoum. The doves will not stop there, although they have been flying for four days. They will continue their flight and cross the dusty and barren desert of Sudan. They always travel at night and find their way by relying on the stars. From Sudan, the doves fly over Cairo and into the Mediterranean. This is the most dangerous part of their journey. Every year, an estimate of 1 million turtle doves and 14 million other migrating birds are killed over the East Mediterranean countries. But those who make it are now halfway through their destination, and some of them land safely in the American University of Beirut. Some of the doves that made it this far arrive in Lebanon and land on the campus of the American University of Beirut. They will feed on the growing grasses and germinating seeds and drink from the temporary rainwater and puddles. The campus houses a rich collection of plant species, including 168 different tree species alone, which provide excellent shelter for the birds. However, the European turtle doves are generally ground feeders, and this puts them at risk of becoming easy targets for domestic cats. Because of this threat, only a few of these doves stay and make AUB their nesting place to raise their young for the summer. After a few weeks, the birds must press on. They make their way off the coast of Lebanon and into Turkey's capital, Istanbul. For thousands of years, 35% of all birds migrating from Africa to Europe pass through Istanbul. And the turtle doves are no exception to this rule. By now, almost 70% of their numbers have disappeared. Many die on their way to Europe because of loss of foraging and nesting sites, the use of harmful agricultural chemicals, severe droughts in the Sahel zone, avian diseases, and hunting. Moving on to Central Europe, Budapest. Despite the metropolitan atmosphere, the birds are relatively more protected here and have easier access to water. Some make a short stay and live further north. Others remain in Central Europe to nest 
and rely on food provided by humans, such as bird feeder and green parks. In the summer, the turtle dove's gentle purring can be heard in parks and gardens. The last flock of turtle doves reaches its final destination in England. They have traveled 13,500 kilometers starting from South Africa, crossing the Mediterranean and Central Europe. At the end of the journey, the majority have perished, leaving only 400,000 returning migrants. In England, they will safely settle near man-made reservoirs and lakes. They will nest in one of the biggest and oldest national parks, the Peaks District, where high rocks make it a perfect place, safe from humans and predators. In the park, the turtle dove male looks for a strategic place where there is plenty of food, then invites the female to form a lifetime bond. Together, they cooperate in building the nest and caring for the offspring. In a few months, before the winter sets in, the old and the new generation of turtle doves will make the same ancient journey back to Africa. <laughs>